Welcome to Good Mythical More. Let's get to know some animal feet together. Paws or claws, I'm talking about. But first, don't freak out, but your socks don't match. Oh, this happened to me just yesterday. My wife put two socks together that looked a lot like they would be matching, but I know the difference. She gave me two right socks. But what's the worst that can happen when your socks don't match? You could- Lose your balance. You could lose your- And then lose everything. So wallet? You, you should panic. Yeah, people yeah. with mismatched socks are much more likely to have their identity stolen, yeah. uh, to itch in unscratchable places, mm -hmm. and uh, to stink inexplicably, but always think it's somebody else. And I've heard it lowers your credit score. So, uh, look into that. Good luck with but it. But don't freak out, I mean. Uh, and if you take your socks off, your feet are naked. Look at us, we have a word bank of amazing animals, including but not limited to the American coot. The, That's an animal? The shoe, shoe bill stork and the horny toad. Oh, you were just picking interesting ones. Mm -hmm. uh, when uh, you ramp up the hotness of your wings, it makes it where you can go all the way up. Like I actually never thought I would go all the way up the scale at a. And at we a also group. had a bite. Like if you if you order the hottest wing and you just keep and going then you at keep it, going six, seven, eight wings in, it becomes a little unbearable. We didn't we didn't have to do that thing. You ate fifty five as a as a college student. Is that what you said? We had fifty five wings. It's not and is that fifty five wing halves? It's fifty five of what we just had. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's still a lot. Um. Okay, so there's our first. Uh, Here it is. There's our first paw slash claw. Now this thing is. That's reptilian. If it's oriented uh, correctly, then this thing is hanging. Um, you think that's? I think that could be a. That's a bat. A, oh, that could be a bat. Is there a bat on here though? Yeah, there is. Right there. Don't you think that's a bat? <laughs> um, Not a hyena. I'll tell you that much. What about a wombat? A wombat's a bat. With wom. A wombat is what bit uh, lock on the finger. In That's Australia. right. Yeah. A wombat is nothing like a bat. Yeah, it's a it's cute more, little thing. It's you like a you stick your finger in the cage, thinking it, it'll love you, and then it bites you. Well, there was a big sign that said, "Don't stick fingers yeah. in the cage." I wasn't. There. They will bite. I wasn't there. I was there, but I was in a different part of the zoo. He was in the infirmary for the longest time, and no one knew where he was. Yeah, because he got bit by a wombat. Uh, let's say bat. Our guess is a wombat bat. is like picture a beaver. There we go. Uh, without a beaver tail. All right, so we're we got we got one right. So put it put a line through it and then a check because we got it right. Nice. <laughs> oh, this is a, that's a wow. that's a gecko. One hundred percent all man, day that long. That is crazy. Geckos because they they. <laughs> oh, hold on, it could be a horny toad. Is that stick? No, it's a gecko it because sticks it on sticks stuff. to stuff. A horny toad doesn't have to stick. What if a dog had feet like this? I've that seen a dog be, like that. You could probably be breed. You could probably awesome. breed a dog to have feet like that. But, but I think just, let's let me make sure it's not any of these other. You think ones. it might be a rhino? What? What? The, what's an American coot? Well, that will be a surprise when we when we finally see it. What a what a coot foot looks like. You know what they call people who who breed American coots? Cooters. I was just gonna let you say it. I was, gonna let, I was, gonna, let I was gonna let you say it. Uh, gecko. What's wrong with saying cooter? Final answer. That's a. Yeah, there we go, gecko. That's a wonderful looking creature. It's a beautiful animal. Look at that thing. I wouldn't want to pet it's kinda it. Kind of ugly though. Yeah, it's, it's a, a reptile. I mean, it's squint, and it's. I mean, it could look like a a snake baby if you like yeah, if you baby. remove the legs yeah. in your mind. Yeah, that's kind of. I mean, little, it's a snake with the legs. It's uh, yeah. Kind of what geckos are. Where, where is that on here? Right there. Right here. So. Line through and check mark, two for two. We pass our biology test today, or zoology, whatever subject this is. That's a tapir. That is, what, what, let me answer. Okay, I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just. I, I know everything too. I know, I'm just, I'm not trying to, I'm just saying, when I see that, I'm like, taper, that thing. I wasn't even looking. Oh, okay, well, this right I'm there. over here writing a check, and then you're like saying the answer to the okay. next thing. Well, it could be an American coot, but I don't think it is. Uh, You know what, I think this is a, Tip here. 
Those are super interesting animals, by the way. They the have like, they, like they stunted show trunks. up in the middle of the forest in like South a South America. And Let's, it's like a horse in the middle of the forest. Final answer. Tapir. Oh, look at that. It's more like a horse pig. Uh, it's like a bear horse pig. I mean, this is something that would have been in Avatar The Last Airbender. Yeah, right. All of the animals are um, are strange combinations of, of animals you're familiar with. So this would be like an elephant and a... Um, Anteater? No, you don't need another... Because you, you, you get the... Yeah. A pig. It's like a pig and an anteater. Uh, okay, three for three. Look at us. No, okay. Do, don't play it yet, because I'm down here doing this. Right. You, you, take it away. It'll be a platypus when he figures it out. Uh, See what I'm doing here? <clears throat> I'm doing the heavy lifting, and you're getting all the glory. I'll do that. You, I'll do that. Well, I will take that job. Yeah, but I can do Gladly. it. Gladly. So, I can do it so good. Okay. I want to do both jobs better than you. All right, platypus. <laughs> Okay, I, let's see the next one. Platypus. <laughs> now this is like a drawing. This is this is like a this is like a MS paint drawing of a platypus foot. This is I, not well. Yeah, it probably is. It's hold like, on, hold like on. illustration. You know what? Platypus is here. You think it's a it's not a mole rat. <clears throat> it's a platypus because I mean it's a it, it's it's obviously a water dwelling animal. Mm. And uh we don't have any other options. Uh, now, I don't know what American coot is. It lays eggs. Platypus. So, all right, platypus. Final answer. Yep, oh. there it is. Now I pet. Look that. at how those. Look at how the fingernails. It, it it evolved flippers, and then the back, the back claws come out past the flipper, but the front claws do not go past the flipper. Fascinating, and of course it it gives birth to uh, young, eggs. Young. No, it lays eggs. Does a platypus lay eggs? Heck yes. Wow, so that's an interesting, <clears throat> so is that an example of egg, is it evolution of egg laying as an independent branch? Because mm -hmm. that was obviously a mammal that then went back into the water in the same way that like dolphins and whales did, but dolphins and whales never went back to having eggs. They maintained live birth and lungs. So this is an interesting branch of the evolutionary tree. A hmm. beaver and a duck is what, how you get a... Um, beaver and a duck. A platypus. Okay. Like every single one, that you have to mate a beaver and a duck right. and you get and a platypus they, every and, time. And the eggs are, are infertile because they, it's like a donkey, they can't have Anything a, mule, in a mule. Yeah, they're sterile. Uh, you know well, it's the second anniversary <laughs> of a mythical society? Did you know that? I mean... And I can't tell Two you. Two years. Who'd have thought? How many things that we're doing to celebrate, but one of the things that we're doing is we're saying that anybody who joins Third Degree uh, Mythical Society membership this month will be randomly selected. Well, it could be. You get a chance to be randomly selected. Yeah, I just you will it. be randomly selected. You will be entered into a raffle where you could, could be randomly selected for a virtual meet and greet with us, okay? So go to mythicalsociety.com, get the deets, make the decision. Be a platypus. Let's see the next one. Oh, that is ugly. That do you is want me to shout out the answer? Or do you? Uh, well, we both know what this is. Three, two, one. Ostrich. Ostrich. Yeah, see? there we go. See, look at that. Unison. And that thing can disembowel you. Now, see how the nail goes straight into the ground? It looks like it's... I wonder. It goes if... straight into your stomach. They go right for the soft parts of people. Oh, gosh. I mean, that, talk about dinosaur life. No, this could be an American coot. Let's really, let's really mm. think about yeah, it. Yeah, they're going to get us with the coot. They're going to get us with the coot. Hey, that coot's going to sneak up the on us. The coot will sneak up. And bite you. Right. But this is it. This, this is, is an a, ostrich. This is an ostrich. Let's see it. Big. Yeah. Oh. Head in the ground. Do they really do that? Or is that a myth? And do they do it for the reason we think they do it? What, to like escape reality? To escape reality? <laughs> <laughs> or are they like getting a worm or something? Uh, I don't know. Maybe they're looking for a coot. Uh, <laughs> knees bend backwards. Yeah. How do they run so quickly if their knees bend backwards? Because they can run. They can run backwards especially fast. No, it's a different form of running. Tell us, tell us if the, um, the head in the sand thing is, what, what, what's the deal with that, crew? Uh, this yeah. is a strong smelling marker. Yeah. 
You're really taking your time crossing it out. I'm stalling so they can give us the answer. Uh, you don't want to get the next. All right, let's see the next one. Oh, this is... That's a wombat. I wasn't even there when my son was bitten by one, but I have to imagine that's what the foot of a wombat looks like. Um, it definitely. But it could, could be a mole rat. It could be a wom wombat. It could uh, be a mole rat. Mole rat. Yeah, I mean that's a, that's a digging claw. I have the information that you seek. Um, Give it to us. Ostriches don't bury their heads in the sand, but they do have their eggs in the sand and they do check on their eggs in the sand so they're not just like burying their face in their their they're checking it's, on it's their an egg check eggs yeah really um this is this, uh wombat that is our answer yeah oh look you did see how cute he looks until he bites your finger off and they can i mean and Locke's fingertip was just the only thing they got in the mouth and it almost came off completely oh my I was in the hotel room with Shepard, who was sick. I can't tell where and the I've wombat. I've against him ever since. Can't tell where the wombat ends and that hairy arm begins. Yeah, that's true. I mean, look at how cute he looks. This is this is propaganda. This is a lie. You can't hold a wombat like that. You can't hold a wombat like you that. You shouldn't. He'll, he'll he'll he'll. It's a wild animal. Don't hold him that close to your nipple. Good gracious. What is the point of them being that cute, though? Do they find each other that cute? None of the ones I saw that day were cute because they weren't belly up in a man's arms. Wombat, we are going for the queen sweep. That Let's coot's see the gonna, next one. The coot's gonna get us. Okay, this is getting more difficult. I mean, okay. This is just a white, blurry, I mean, this could be anything. This could be a pillow, a throw pillow on grass. Now, is this a dog? Is this just a, is this just a dog? Well, it kind of looks like it might be like a Barbara type dog. It's not a hyena. I don't know what an American coot is. I don't think the shoebill stork has feathers that go all the way down its legs. It's not it? a flying lemur. No, because a flying lemur is going to look like shoe hum bill. human hands. I think a shoebill stork is going to have like stork feet. You think a stork's going to have hair? No way. That's what I'm saying. I'm just saying, but it would have white. It's got to be a dog. What is a coot, though? We got, we've got to figure this out. An American coot. What's I mean, I know what a regular coot is. Like, what is a, what is a coot? This could be the coot, man. We got to figure this out. Uh, I feel like a coot, an American coot, might be. I don't be, know what it is. You know what? It might be a type of chicken. That has a really furry leg coot, like coot, that. Coot, coot, coot. That's an owl. It might be, this might be the American coot. You think it's a chicken. It might be one of those chickens that's got super hairy feet. Do you know what I'm talking about? No, they don't have hairy feet. They have feathery feet. Feathery, that, those, that could be feathers. No, that's not feathers. This is really a, thin this feathers. Is, this is a dog, I think, my friend. I think it's in the grass, that's a dog. Yes! Yeah, okay. Oh, that is my dog. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, isn't that Barbara as a, I was like, that's your yard, but that's not Barbara. But it is Barbara. That's Barbara like the day we brought her home, you know. Ha! Very, very young Barbara. So we were right. Look how cute now, she was. You're gonna have to go home and tell Barbara you thought she was a coot. Yeah, I will. She'll All think right. it's funny. She thinks that kind of stuff is funny. I'm glad we've got this because this shows how smart we are. And now we come to the coot. This mm -hmm. looks like no, that's in a, insect. That's, that's a stork, dude. What the crap? That's not a horny toad because mm -mm. the horny toad's legs mm -mm. would be different than that. Not a flying lemur, not a mole rat. Shoebill stork. It's gotta be a shoebill stork. I mean, if you've got a bill that looks like a shoe, you probably have feet that look like a caterpillar. And those are like caterpillars. And as you can see, those are sort of half webbed feet. Like, you could get through the water, you could propel, your, propel yourself through the propel water yourself. with those, but they're not completely webbed. Shoebill stork is our final answer. That's the American no! That's a coat! Hold on, you know what? We should have taken our time because I told you it was a freaking chicken. Yeah, it's about that. But you, you said, you a, said a real feathery chicken. It, of course, a stork has got webbed feet. Man, what was I saying about those half webbed feet? That's an American coot. Uh, let's move on because we just threw the whole game. None of it matters anymore. Unless you're perfect, it doesn't matter. If you go and you take a test 
and you miss one, you're just as bad as the kid that got half of them wrong. The only thing that is acceptable around here is straight A's. I tried to draw a thumbs down, but it looks like looks a weird like a, wiener. Looks like a wiener with three testicles. <laughs> uh, okay. four, four testicles. What's the next one? That's it, That man. was it? We, we lost and we gave up. So you were just waiting until we got to the coot and then it was over? <laughs> Want to have a virtual meet and greet with us? Well, join any third degree plan this month for your chance to be randomly selected. Details at mythicalsociety.com.